Hello team, it's Heyo Day here, your coach who hit Radiant rank 20. Today's focus, taking your awesome DM skills straight into our Valorant matches. We've practiced hard, now let's use those skills to boost our RR. Keep it simple, aim sharp, and let's get those wins. In DM, our habits differ significantly from in-game scenarios. Let's analyze these differences to understand where we can improve. In DM, we often know where our opponents are, leading to overconfidence and potentially bad clearing habits. We also are less scared, we're most likely to swing out and engage in fights with the intention to win. We also focus on our mechanics and we're looking to improve our mechanics in that DM. The nature of DM gives us very favorable fights, we're often behind people, we're waiting for them to spawn, you know, there's a lot more going on than in game. In game, we get scared. We, we often play passive. In game, we can't get away with many mistakes due to the higher stakes. We have teammates to consider, affecting our decision making. Often, we rush our shots and movement, leading to half swings or poor clearing. The mistakes are not forgiven in game. And the more mistakes you commit, the more scared you become. Now, let's talk solutions. Here's how we can adapt our DM mindset to our in game strategies. Alright, let's remember to take a breath, to remember our concepts that we've learned from the previous videos. Make sure to clear well, make sure to verify your shots, and use movement. If you use movement, you won't die as much. Stop being scared and actually use your mechanics. The first thing we need to think about is, oh, if we're always in a disadvantage, how can we make an advantage for us? The first thing we can do is lurk. And how should you lurk? Well, lurking is quite simple. You just need to think about, oh, how are they playing generally? One, one A, one A. And just beat that timing. How do you beat that timing? The more patient you are, the more chances you have of killing them from behind. One, to the, one of the next things you guys need to consider is your teammates. What are your teammates actually looking at? If the person is looking at ropes, for example, you need to look at heaven to make sure you both don't get punished for being stupid. So always think about, oh, what is he not holding? I'll hold it, just in case. And I can punish people who, who have aggression. One of the next things you guys need to do more is wait for your teammates to come up. You guys don't wait for your teammates and then you get scared and you're scared of dying alone. However, if there's a trade or if there's just support behind you guys, it's fine. You guys will be fine in the end and it's going to be better for the team too. The next thing you guys gotta do more to secure kills is space with your teammates. If your teammates is fighting something, don't instantly swing with them. Wait for them to die, or wait a little bit later that you don't get lined up with the shots, and then trade! Make sure to always have a timing, a little gap, to kill the other person too. Think about yourself, don't just swing with him and get lined up. The next thing you guys gotta do is play aggressive. Of course there is rounds where you can play passive, because your teammates can help you play passive. They bait for you, they get the information that you should get, and that's that's fine. But you generally want to play aggressive angles. You want to vary your angles, however, so that it doesn't become predictable. And here are a few examples of how I play aggressively. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to dive deeper into any topic from today's video, let me know in the comments. And remember, I offer free coaching on my Discord, so I hope I can see you there.